What is up? We are Wrestling Maniacs out there worldwide. It's the best one, Donnie, here with my May 8th, 2024 AEW Dynamite reactions. If you're not a We Are Wrestling Maniac yet already, recommend you to hit that subscribe button now, turn on the post notifications, because of course you already know the grind is real. And I do apologize for being a couple days late because it is Friday and I am in a rush because in a couple hours we're going to Blitzkrieg Pro. Ooh, we got the Elite. All right, cameraman, you buckle up back there. All right, door the door. Man, we need we need Brandon Cutler back on camera. Where to park, huh? Nothing even available. Oh my God, look at this guy. Oh, here, here. Hey, hey, there's a spot. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Watch out, bud. Move. Yeah. I love the new Elite characters so much. Move. Get out the way. Oh, hey, hey, what, do you see what I see? <laughs> That's a perfect spot right there. That is. That's great. He's not going to be here. He's not, right? he's not here. He's still in Jacksonville. That's our spot now, huh? Yeah. Hold up. Oh, oh Tony Khan's parking right. spot. All right. So Jim, no let's... Tony Khan again. Let's go. All right. Just another day, huh? Yep. Yeah. Man, I'm loving these little segments that they do with the Elite. So good. A few months back, I was diagnosed with diverticulitis. Any sort of Oh, now we're getting a video package from Kenny. For the first time in my career, I was scared when I came out here. It made me realize I made a mission statement to change the world. A part of the power Having this Elite storyline has been the best thing for AEW, I think. I'm sorry, Kenny. Yep, we're getting Okada and Omega at all in, I'm telling you guys. I wouldn't mind Jungle Boy, I wouldn't mind Jack Perry versus Omega either. But, I kind of want Okada and Omega at all in. I do like how we got FTR though involved too, because obviously they're close to CM Punk. Man, that's crazy what happened there. Wow. Ooh, we got Jungle Boy promo from last week. Is this the best that you got? You know, you're not as bad as you think you are. But I hope that you had fun hitting all your old moves in your hometown for what's probably the last time in your entire life. But the thing that hurts me the most, Kenny... Remember when this guy couldn't talk? Is that you are not the hero that we needed you to be. When it came down to it, you were a coward like everybody else. Loving and the, the aggression. Is, the elite doesn't need you anymore. And neither does AEW. Because we are going to change the world without you. We all have to sacrifice. And you just made yours. Damn, what a promo by Jack, and we're also getting Kenny Omega with an announcement up next. Damn, let's keep this elite thing going. I could sit here for two hours and watch this. Oh, we got Kenny in the hospital. You seem like myself. I wish I could have been there in person to Edmonton tonight. But it turns out that your EVPs had other plans in mind. 15 years, you guys were like family to me. And yet here we are. Well, here I am at the We're ER. changing things for the better, Kenny. Hard not to take what you did to me personally. So I really feel like I have to thank you, Matthew, for reminding me that what you did wasn't personal, it was business. Well, as an EVP, I guess that would mean I have business to take care of too before I get all this taken care of. And it got me thinking. Ooh, here we go. May 26 marks the five-year anniversary of where it all started. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. And I figured that since you guys like to stroll to the... Live well, watch along to the channel. Since you like to make your own rules, why don't you throw the rule book out the window? Ooh, Anarchy in the Arena? Anarchy in the Arena. Oh! Rules. The Young Bucks. I love tradition. Go Okada and Jack Perry against Team AEW. Two names off the top of my head. The greatest tag team in AEW history. Possibly the greatest tag team in all of professional wrestling history. Two guys that had the courage to step up to you. FTR. Ooh, As for the other two, I like this. 
I'm really new to this matchmaking thing, but something tells me that on a first come first serve basis, they'll reveal themselves to you later tonight, sooner than you might think. So we meet again. Jack. I love the way they're building this. I love this. Good night. Good night. Bang. I like it. All right, so we're gonna be getting an anarchy in the arena. I like it. On Sunday, I like it. Where it all started at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. But who's gonna team up with FTR? Of course, will be for the AEW Women's World Title. As a champion, timeless Tony Storm. Ooh, Tony Storm, Storm versus Serena D. All right, looks like we're getting Copeland versus Kyle O'Reilly for Collision. Hell yeah. Well, we Definitely going to be checking that out. And we got the Elite to end the show. The show doesn't end until we say it's over. <laughs> what a show this, way, this Wednesday. I the network and I asked for a little bit of an overrun because we, we have an important message. And over who do these guys think they are? Yeah, I know what they think they are. They're in charge. First Taking Tony Khan's money. That's what they're doing. <laughs> here tonight in this terrible country of Canada. Mr. Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada has a note for Kenny Omega. Oh, here we go. Hey, Kenny. Get well soon. That's right. And, and speaking of so thoughtful, people, Okada. So thoughtful. Tony Khan, I know you're watching at home in Jacksonville. I just wanted to say that you're the best boss I've ever worked for, and I hope you're feeling better too. I just wish that you would have gotten out of your own way and realized that we were never here to try to hurt AEW. We were here to make AEW a better place. Which so far, man, ever since this angle has happened, AEW has been so much better to watch. To give Tony Khan a Tony Khan driver. Thank you. And Kenny Omega. Last week, you decided to end a 15-year-long friendship. So what did we have to do to you, Ken? Well, we had to give an EVP trigger to an EVP. <laughs> I want to know who's going to be teaming with FTR. FTR saved your ass. It's not because they like you. No, it's because they hate us. FTR, guess what? Anarchy in the arena? That's what you want at Double or Nothing? Then Anarchy in the arena, you're going to get. Good luck finding two other people with big enough balls to face the elite. We run this damn show. Okay, we got FTR. Here we go. I feel like if Darby Allen was healthy, Darby probably would be one of the guys on Team AEW. But that's not going to happen. That's what I want to know. Who the hell is filling out these two spots? Because I can't really think of anybody. Maybe so a couple of members of Blackpool fight. Combat Club. It's be easy finding a couple of guys to uh, stand with us and fight the EVPs of this company. But after a little bit of convincing those big balls you're talking about, I think I found a couple of guys who've got big enough balls for the job. Oh, Eddie Kingston's one of them. Okay, that's. Oh, yeah. He's a AEW. Di He's a diehard AEW guy. I like that. I kind of like that because they did take him out first. He was the first one to get taken out, so that does make sense. Didn't even like come across my mind. I like this. All right, who's the last one? Who's the last one? Oh, we got the American Dragon. Which definitely makes sense because him and Okada, they had their little thing going on. Will return to action Saturday at 
All right, we got our anarchy in the arena. I like it. I think all four of them, they definitely make sense. I like this. This is going to be good. Yeah, there we go. Kenny Omega won't find you for this. And this is how we're going to end AEW Dynamite this week. I like it. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I think Anarchy in the Arena has got to be the main event. It's got to be the main event of Double or Nothing.